Hey guys, if you're in one and I'm talking about Splinter Cell, or lack thereof. Now what do I mean by that? Well, I was watching Spawnway's video, and apparently Jason Trier was talking about Shinobi 602's post about how Ubisoft is going to launch five AAA games between April 2020 and March 2021, right? But he points out that anyone holding off for Splinter Cell is going to be disappointed. And that kind of sucks, because that means that there probably won't be any Splinter Cell until at least after March of next year. And this, to me, is really a result of Blacklist. See, Blacklist was not a well-received Splinter Cell game. And mostly, let's just face it, the giant elephant that was in the room, Sam Fisher was no longer voiced by Michael Ironside. And the voice they got to replace him sounded nothing like Michael Ironside. And it, it, it didn't even sound like someone that would be Sam Fisher, especially at that age. It sounded just completely different. And, 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 and that was a big thing to me, because I, I did own Blacklist. I played through Conviction, and I played the co-op in Chaos Theory. But... I didn't really play through much of Blacklist. That voice was such a big thing. Because going from Michael Ironside to just a more regular kind of voice, I want to say, it's just not something you can really do. I'm not dissing the actor who voiced him in Blacklist, but there are certain voice actors that are just hard to follow, okay? So I really think that was a big part in Blacklist's failing. And the fact that when they brought Sam Fisher back in Ghost Recon Wildlands, that they use Michael Ironside's voice again really shows that Ubisoft also seems to believe that Michael Ironside not being the voice of Sam Fisher in Blacklist really caused that game to kind of not do well in sales. But unfortunately, it seems like they also use that as a whole, okay, we're not going to bring out any more Splinter Cell for a while. I mean, it's been seven years, basically, since Blacklist came out. And the only thing we got from Splinter Cell is Sam Fisher in a mobile game, okay? So it kind of sucks that it seems like Ubisoft has semi given up on the franchise, seemingly because of the fail of Blacklist. But who knows? Maybe they'll surprise us by making like a teaser or something for us this E3. That would be cool if they showed us even just a teaser with just the goggles and with the noise. You guys who play Splinter Cell know what noise I'm talking about. And I would be fine with that. If, even if it's just a teaser and it's not coming out till even like 2022, I'd be fine with it because at least it would show me that Ubisoft hasn't given up on the Splinter Cell franchise. But what do you guys think? Are you guys disappointed that we're not gonna get any Splinter Cell game from April 2020 all the way to March 2021? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe. May God bless you all.